Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, number 264. I just wanted to take some time out to discuss, well, a companion chronicle. When did I first decide to leave UNIT? Now there's a question. With no easy answer, I'm afraid. It's not the sort of decision one makes overnight, is it? There are always moments. You see... In some ways, I'd already decided to leave UNIT before I'd even joined it. Invisible ink? Grown men playing at soldiers? I don't think so. And then when I got there, it was even worse. Little blue men with three heads. It's hardly what I imagined I'd be doing when I graduated from... But then came the doctor. The doctor. So, I suppose the more relevant question would be, when did I first decide to leave the Doctor? And why? You see, I was missing Liz. It's ridiculous, really. I never met the actress, and apart from watching every episode of Doctor Who, I don't really know Liz. Liz Shaw was the third Doctor's companion, and very recently... We had, well, I don't want to use the word spate, but we had a couple of bereavements in the Doctor Who community. Mary Tam and, well, let's just say we all know how deeply those actresses will be missed. And I wanted to experience more. Now I know that Mary Tam's with us for Tom Baker's second series, which comes with us next year. But like I said, I was missing Liz. And so I turned to Big Finish. Now, with John being gone and no one doing an impression, at least not on their books. I had to turn to the Companion Chronicles. Now, I'd been ignoring the Companion Chronicles. I'd given a few a go, and I'd never truly embraced them. I had the main range and real life to contend with. But I thought, no, I'll give them a go. And I'll start at the very beginning. The third one, Bluetooth, is Liz Shaw. And it opens with a statement, you're wondering why I left Unit. Well, we always did wonder. And that's what you get. You see, when a range starts, you get to play with, well, the things you always wanted to do, which were never done on TV. That's what Big Finish did when they first started these four Companion Chronicles. Series 1 was released over a period of a whole year, with three months in between each one, just as a toe in the water to see if the experiment worked. Here we have something else that we always wanted. The Cyberman story for John Pertwee's Doctor. Ah, yes... We always wanted the third Doctor to meet the Cybermen, and he never quite got round to it until the five Doctors, and... Does that count? I suppose it does. We know it's a Cyberman story, because there's a picture of the Cyberman on the front. We know it's a unit story. And, Laz, with all Companion Chronicles, you have one story on one disc being related to you, the audience, as if you were there, as if you were an observer to the story being told... It's not a live-action thing. It's not the same as the rest of the range. The rest of the range exists in a kind of a here's the soundtrack to something you could be watching kind of way. It feels more intimate, more immediate. Yes, they're often characters just reminiscing about their times, but it does work. It's a fairly simple story. Liz goes to find her friend, who's missing, gets involved in an investigation to find out other people from Cambridge have also gone missing, and eventually finds a crashed Cyberman spaceship. There are actual similarities to the Lodger, but this is so much darker, so much more of its time. It really does feel like the 60s slash 70s, rather than the 70s slash 80s, when the unit stories were meant to have happened. Not that unit dating's ever been really a problem, you just kind of accept it. No, it's really good. I will be going back and I will be talking about each and every one of the Companion Chronicles. Suffice to say that this one is really genuinely good. Liz Shaw will be missed. She will be missed by us all. And the reason that I haven't done a retrospective or anything like that is because, 
well, I record far too far in advance, and I'm not exactly keeping up with the news. So if you don't mind, I think I'll be reviewing some Companion Chronicles along the way. Until next time, of course, when I'll be talking about a town called Malice. No, that's not what it's called at all. But it is, however, Smith, Year 3, Story 3. Oh, yes. Be seeing you. You have been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. To order or simply find out more about the book Hoostrology, the Time Traveller's Almanac, visit hoostrology.com. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.